Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I'm going to show you this design tool for designing and building tiny houses slash cottages. I was hoping to get this done in time to help Jason Crocker from the Crockers, but it looks like it's a little bit late for that. But if you stick around and watch the video, it may be able to help you or somebody you know. So what this is, is a configurator built in Autodesk Inventor, and it's called the Tiny House Configurator. And what it does is it builds a, a house design based on inputs on a form. I just started this version at the beginning of this week. I was hoping to get it done in time before Jason Crocker, if you haven't subscribed to their channel, go over there and subscribe. It's just called The Crockers. There'll be a link in the title. Just uh, click on that. But what this does is you change the size, the truss type, the foundation type, all the different types of construction. You change them on this form. Then this model will change to conform to that. And it'll also change the underlying drawings and the bill of materials. Here's the bill of materials for the way it is right now. If you look here, we have 48 by 48. Those are half sheets of plywood subfloor. And there's 15 of them. And there is full sheets as well in here. Let me dig down. They're here. Um, there it is. And there's common trusses, uh, we have 17 of them. And then there's end trusses and there's all the different things that are in the construction will be included in the bill of materials. But the way that'll be is there'll be like a, a drawing that shows how to make the foundation. This is a pier and post. This is the only one I've designed so far. And other ones are helical pile, uh, pier and beam, uh, post and pad, slab, trailer. A trailer foundation will be just a thin foundation with allowance for piping and wiring and stuff that you can connect to uh, a trailer for a mobile version. And on this we have Oh, where are we? Foundation. We have frost depth. That doesn't matter if you're on a trailer, but if you're building this on the ground, it uh, matters a lot. So, like I said, this is the only foundation type I've designed into it yet, so nothing is going to work other than, you know, this frost depth here. And it should change the length of these piers here thusly um, I don't have the pads at the bottom of this yet there's like 10 inch by 4 inch thick pads at the bottom of those uh, just like a pole barn uh, stories it's only single story right now but I will have a second story option there are a bunch of different roof types and I actually have them designed in here as sketches so far but I made this common rafter as fully fleshed out last night so if this doesn't turn off if i change to a different one let me apply that and show you so we have a cantilever here so if i click on this uh, gable room and attic which is the type of house we have right here but it's much taller than this ours is a uh, 10 12 and it has four foot sidewalls here so it gives you a full house and this this is showing the sketch for the room and attic with the common 
right over the top of that and that won't be like that real soon. So as I build this, I'll be adding all the new features as I go and I'll show them to you here in uh, YouTube videos as they get done. Okay, so a common rafter like this, this would have more uh, framing on the ends and stuff. That part's not done as well. I want to make these so that they match the manufactured ones at different big box stores. So you can just uh, choose something and then go out and buy them. You don't have to look around for them. And I have choices down here at the bottom for Lowe's, Home Depot, and Menards. And that's what the pricing will all be attached to as well. So if you design a house completely and then click on Lowe's, it should be able to give you uh, a really good price on what all those materials are going to cost if you just ran down there and bought them. It's not going to be perfect because they have different pricing in different areas of the country, but it should get you real close. And like I showed you earlier, this will give you a parts list so you could take the parts list in and have them give you a price on it. All right, now let me get this back down to 412. Okay, and now, like the size, this goes from 8 to 24 in either direction, width and length. I'll show you 8 foot wide by 24 long. Okay, so now you can see you still have all of your sheets in there. That's a half sheet right there, then a full sheet. So it's going to show you where to put the sheets and what direction they go. Um, there was a little problem on Jason Crocker's build. Uh, he has the sheets oriented the opposite way that you normally do. But he's putting a second layer on that, so should be fine. So this is a 8 by 24 uh, if you were building it on the ground like this, I think most people would probably go with 12 by 24. And I'm sure you would do like a, I'll see how this looks, a parallel cord scissor truss, which is kind of like this. See, it's showing right over these common trusses and these common trusses would go away and these would be in its place. But that gives you a cathedral ceiling and there's energy and a bunch of other different ones. Yeah, I'll show all those when, when I get them uh, fleshed out. So now if I were to go to the bill of materials, well, you have to save it first. Now, this bill of materials is for this tiny house at this size and this configuration. And like I said, it's not done yet, but it's pretty far along already. So what I'll be doing over the next few weeks is building different style foundations, different trusses, different rafter types. Uh, adding doors and windows to the equation. And eventually they'll be on here, Configurator 360, which is an Autodesk product. And then I'll have to figure out a way to limit the use of it so that it, it can't just be used by anybody. I want to limit the use of it to subscribers because this right here costs about $3,000 a year just to put it up there and if the usage goes over a certain limit then it costs me another three thousand dollars so i i don't have six thousand dollars 
to just throw out there. So I got to figure out a way to limit its usage specifically to subscribers. And hopefully at some point I'll be able to find a sponsor to pay for that part. I'm paying for it right now and I would rather not be. Other features on here are the position of the door. So choosing the door position left, I have a left and right and center baked into every different size. So it puts it in there correctly so that it's not sitting over the top of a stud and all of the other studs like this one I'm not sure if you could see that outline, but it's the correct size. And let's save this and show it in the bill of materials real quick. And this, oh, that's, it says varies here because this, I didn't add the wood material to that part. But so in the final version, you'll be able to download drawings that show this dimension drawings and each drawing will have a cut list. So it'll say, you know, how many studs of what length. So you just get them all cut up and put it together according to the drawing. And I'll do some simplified drawings. So this should make it pretty darn easy for someone with no building experience to not only figure out a design, a basic design, what type of foundation, what size, what type of rafters, uh, what details, figure out all of that and in the end be able to build it themselves. And then I'll do other videos on, you know, how to do a stairway, how to do plumbing, how to do this, how to do that. I already have a ton of videos on that, but I've done them in mostly vlog style. So it shows me doing it, but it's just, you know, whatever I could get done that day and it was recorded. So I'm going to do some more of a how-to style videos for getting plumbing and all that kind of stuff done in here. So that's about it. Right now, I just need a bunch of input from different people that have built tiny houses already, who are looking to build it in the future, stuff like that. In the end, I'd like to collaborate with somebody who is going to build one and have them build something from a design that they do using this design tool here. That would be pretty cool, um, but they would need to have a YouTube channel and and videotape the stuff. So those are my thoughts so far, and I will kind of steer things depending on feedback. So make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon and then do that all notification thing. I, I don't know. I think you got to right click or something like that. Then make sure you comment below and also in the community tab. I post a lot in the community tab since I've gotten it. I've only had it two weeks and I probably have eight, nine posts in there. So if you're really interested, go to the community tab and check out what's going on there. And if you're subscribed, you'll get notifications of the new posts in the community tab as well. So make sure you subscribe. And lastly, if you can share these videos in like Facebook and Twitter and other places or links to them in discussions about tiny houses, that would help greatly. The more people that give input on this, the better the tool will be. And if it helps this channel grow a bit, then I'll have more time to work on this. So. It's so kind of like a win-win. So look forward to another update on this. I'll do at least one update a week. And then I have my other videos where I'm working on plumbing and all that stuff on our own. We call it a cottage. It's 24 by 28. And it has a room and attic set of trusses on it. And I'll show a couple pictures as I end this video. 
So come back soon, come back often, and be sure to comment so I know what direction to take this. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.